I know you want to know how many trial work periods do you have entitled to you after you've received disability benefits. I can answer that for you in two seconds. One, hate to be the bearer of bad news, and I'm going to read exactly what the regulation says. Limitations on the number of trial work periods. You may only have one trial work period during a period of entitlement to cash benefits. So guess what that means? You only get one trial work period. Now, there's what we call an extended trial work period. And for those of you who have done videos on trial work periods, as you probably know, tri trial work period is where you basically are entitled to test the job market. Uh, you get a nine-month window over a five-year period of time. And it's not nine consecutive months, one right behind the other. You get nine months where those nine months do not adversely affect your ability it does not adversely affect your disability benefits. Now, that's for Title II. SSI is a little different because they have it's based on a money calculation. But without going into all the hubbub, for those persons who have applied for disability benefits and getting benefits based on their earnings, what we call DIB or Title II, uh, typically the trial work period is a nine-month period of time over a five-year window. Now, you have a what we call an extended trial work period. Now, what happens in that particular instance is that you're giving an additional three years. Um, where basically what they do is there's a possibility that if you make up have a month where you make more, make what we call substantial gainful activity, you make some money and they may suspend your benefits for those months. However, if for some reason you can't continue to work because you're just testing the market and you still are disabled from your impairments, you may be able to get your benefits reinstated. But we're not going to go into all that hubbub because that gets a little bit more complicated. Just know this. If you have been found disabled, particularly under Title II. Now, that's Social Security Disability Insurance Benefits. That's where you worked and paid into the system, not SSI. It's where you've actually paid into the system, DIB. And Because I want to keep it limited to that particular purposes because SSI is a little bit more unique because you've got earnings issues that you've got to worry about for reduction of your benefits. But for the question that was asked to me, how many trial work period opportunities do I have? You only have one. I know you want to know. I know I feel it right here. You want to know, did SSA, the Social Security Administration, ignore favorable medical evidence in an effort to just find me denied for disability benefits? I've had that happen. Oh, gosh, you don't know how many times I've had this where people are applying for disability benefits. I'm, I'm telling you, they're applying for disability benefits. I'm telling you there, they're applying for disability benefits. And for whatever reason, for whatever reason, whatever reason, they believe that there's a couple of pieces of evidence from their doctors that are just absolutely spectacular. They've seen the report, and they just know that's going to be the thing that takes them over the top. That's right, over the top. And then all of a sudden, they get denied. And the first thing out of their mind is clearly Social Security was looking to deny them. And this is what I tell people. You don't know your whole file. And I'm not trying to say that to, to make you feel, feel bad about your situation. I'm just saying this. Social Security has a responsibility to look at the weight of all of your medical evidence. So if that one thing was only one thing, and I've talked about this before in other videos, if it's only one thing in the context of other things, meaning, think of it like this. Let's say you had 10 pieces of evidence, 10 different doctors, and one of the doctors said you're disabled because of A, B, C, and D. But the other nine, either one don't say you're disabled or the evidence in their file is not as severe as that one doctor. There's a very good likelihood that Social Security is going to say the bulk of your evidence supports that you're not disabled, even though one doctor says that you may be. And people get all mad and freaked out and upset, and they say, that's just garbage. They're looking to deny it. Like, no, it's the weight of the evidence, plain and simple. It's almost like a situation, let's say you had a car, and, and, and everybody said the car was a lemon, but you say your car is a gym. Well, when I say your car is a lemon, let's say that the car, all four of the tires are bald, the transmission is slipping, um, the radiator has a hole in it and everything. You can barely get it down the street. Everybody said the car is a lemon, but you say it's worth $10,000. Who are people going to listen to? Probably not you. And I'm not trying to be nasty. It's just understand the context. And this is where I tell people when they get upset about 
how social security can deny me. I say, you know what? You've got to, if you don't have someone, this is where, please forgive me. I'm a representative. I'm an attorney. So I'm going to throw this out there. This is where it's important to have a representative who can review your file. Because what happens is that a lot of times people focus solely on that one spectacular piece of evidence that they think their file has, and they don't think about all the rest of it. So please, please, don't freak out or get all upset if that one thing happens. That's why. It's a marathon, not a sprint. You keep appealing, you keep pushing on. All right, I hope you liked the videos. Again, we're going to be here next Monday and Wednesday. Sorry about last week. A little crazy. Long story. You don't want to hear it. Boring anyway. Again, keep posting those comments, send me those messages, and as always, if you're looking for assistance with your uh, pending application, don't even hesitate. Give me a buzz. Call me toll free, or more importantly, why don't you just go online at www.reusefirm.com, fill out a free claim evaluation, and make it do what it do. All right? Again, my name is Attorney Anthony Reeves, and I look forward to seeing you again.